Hold on. Welcome back here to another video. All right, this is the MTM channel. I'm Tom McMurdo. All right, so we're gonna jump right into it because I'm off school today, had nothing to do, nothing to really do outside for work because it's kind of chilly out on the lake and I have nothing inside. So uh, as we see behind me, the blue truck looks a little weird. Reason, reason being is, like I said in the last video, I'm kind of slow on content. So we're gonna walk over here. That tire is sitting right out here because I kind of wanted to see what it looked like on the shorty. I think it looks pretty good, but, and I think 29 inch tires and 35 inch tires are the same thing. So, uh, I'm gonna pull the white dually out, pull this truck in and put these on and hope they fit. Those will be going on the blue truck. I'm gonna put these on this truck and hopefully we don't get into the nice fender here that has the clear peeling off of it but if they fit this is going to be a video but uh if they don't fit then i gotta find something else to do in this video because uh yeah i hope this works because i'm kind of running low and i got all this stuff and i have nothing film content on so let's uh throw these on and have the whitest shorty known to man. So, uh, let's get into it. All right, so the shorty is in the shop, but ran into one problem right off the bat. Got the jack out, and I put a lower balance on, so uh, it goes till there. So either you gotta pull that off, because I don't think I can come in from the backside. Actually, maybe I can. I don't know. We're about to find out, because I don't wanna take that off again and try to find the screw holes to uh, put it back on. So I want to get that. And then if the first one fits, you'll see that and then we'll throw it in time lapse. If not, well, I don't know what else. So uh, let's get into it. Well, as you see behind me, the uh, blue truck skipping leg day, it's sitting on a jack stand. Uh, our console's sitting there. I was already having to pull them off to rotate the tires because how the front end sits, guy that built the truck before uh, just cut the coils or cut the springs or whatever. So the front's kind of cambered, so I have to like keep on rotating like every, every 3,000 miles, whatever. Just so like I can kind of keep them level instead of just being like eight on the inside. Because that's what happened in the last set. But, so let me flip you around here. So what it used to look like with that much gap and it's still rubbed if you guys can't tell still rubbed to 26 by 16s on 35s and i got enough room to not even fit my whole pinky in there's absolutely no room to this there's no room in the front and not even room in the back I mean, even right here, it's just, yeah. So, probably won't be able to take it out on the road, but we'll at least uh, get to back it up, get video of it, and do that. But these wheels have to be degreased, cleaned, because they, it is full of brake dust, just you can't tell, and it also has grease from what, like, I don't even know, road tar, whatever. So, Finish pulling them off this truck, the 26s off this truck, throw them on that truck, and let's see how it looks. So uh, let's get into it. 
Well, as you see behind me, or right there, blue truck, like I said before, is skipping leg day completely like, didn't even go to gym today. And then, let's see here, he got the guy that is ripped on steroids and is low and wide. She's done, boys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I would drive it on the road, but I only got, let's see here, straight and then just down. So like half turn. And she's already rubbing on the top of the fender. So I got that much room. And from pulling it from there around to here. Yeah, she didn't like it too much. She's rubbing on the inside of the, uh, right in there, right here, and then she's rubbing on top right there. But, this thing looks immaculate. Uh, let's jump into some edits. And I'll be, I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, so that's probably going to end it for today's video. Truck sitting behind me. Looks looks really good. I wish the front end wasn't messed up. Or else I would actually get it out on the road and drive it. Get content that is not down here at the shop. But that's going to probably end it. I'm going to put this truck, put this truck back on stocks because, well, yeah, the Archons need to be clean. And the Archons are going to be used for the next video. Putting wheels on something else that probably shouldn't have wheels. But stay tuned. Um, fourth gym, probably going to start getting back on that here soon. I know you guys seen it in the last video of just a update. Um, then when I was pulling it up here, I was kind of getting a little rowdy and I messed up. I need a new fender. It's already, it already was bulged, kind of. You can kind of see it, kind of not. Need a new fender when I paint it because the other wheels, it front end bounces enough that I pushed it out. But when I was coming up here, I don't know if it'll register, but I have completely peeled the paint back all the way out here. So that's, that's a new one, but you can tell it just rubbed the whole way from there to here. Whole front end was just doing this, so there's that. But hey, I can tell you what. You can do it to that truck, but and oh wait. I guess it's not squatted. But hope you guys enjoyed. I want to probably get a little bit more content as the day goes on with these wheels and then put them back on the blue truck. But hope you guys enjoyed. Thing looks crazy. And if anybody wants to trade for some like 20, just my, trade my 22 by 12s on 29s or 30s inch tires for some like 24s and 33s, like 12 or 14 wides, let me know because this. Probably want to go 16, 26 by 16s because this is just crazy. But if someone wants to trade, let me know because 
There's that, or it's going to get extra tires back here because why not? I got the tires back there. I got the 22s ready for it. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned in the next one. And I'll catch you then. Have a good one. I said I'm finished, but uh, truck's locked right back there, running. Uh, yeah, I kind of forgot to unlock the passenger side door. I can't find the spare key. I can find the spare key. That truck to that truck to that truck to the blue one. I think the spare is in that truck. So uh, I'm gonna get that undone. Throw the stocks on it. Get those cleaned up. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.